Hello everyone! So today we're going to find the LCD of rational algebraic expressions. So when we say LCD, this is the least common denominator. Okay, so you should know this basic because you're going to make use of this in performing fundamental operations on rational algebraic expressions. So let's start with our examples. Find the LCD of the following. So number one, let's say we have A over 6x and B over 9xy. So first step is we're going to factor the, the denominator. So we're going to get the first denominator, which is 6x, then factor it, we have 2 times 3 times x. So, you're going to get the prime factors of 6x. Then, we have, for the second denominator, we have 9xy. Again, you're going to get the prime factors of this. We have 3 times 3 times x times y. Then, after that, you can now solve for or get the LCD. We have 2 times 3 times 3 and then times x then times y. This one. So if we're going to multiply that, the result is 2 times 3 times 3, we have 18 xy. So, this is not the LCD. Okay. Next number. Number 2. We have 3 over x and 10 over y. This is very easy. You will just Multiply the 2, so the LCD here is x and then y, or xy, okay? Then, for number 3, we have 15 over a, 6 over b squared, and then 3 over c. So, what is the LCD of this rational expression? So, we have, of course, since that they are not the same term so we will just multiply all we have a b squared c so that's the lcd of number three next for number four okay number four let's say we have two over 15a and then four over 10b so, let us factor the first denominator. We have 15a, okay? So, 15a, what are the prime factors? We have 3 times 5 times a, right? Then, for the second denominator, 10b, what are the prime factors? We have, we have 5 and then 2 and then b. So, 5 times 2 times b. So, let us get one factor. As you can see, we have one pair here. So, we have 5 and then 3 and then 2, A and then B. So, to get the LCD, we have, okay, one pair. We have 5 times 3 times 2 times A and then times B. Okay? So, the LCD here is 5 times 3, then times 2. 5 times 3, that is 15, right? Times 2, we have 30. And then A, B. So, we have 30 A, B. So, that's the answer, okay? Next, number... Five. 
Okay, number five, let's say we have 3 over x minus 2 and 5 over 2 minus x. So, as you can see, x minus 2 and then 2 minus x are not the same, right? So, what are you going to do is, you're going to get first, okay, let us have the solution. For the second term, rational algebraic expression, we have 5 over 2 minus x. So, you're going to multiply the numerator by negative 1 and also the denominator by negative 1, okay? So, this is now equal to, this is equal to negative 5 over uh, negative 1 times 2, that is negative 2. Negative 1 times x, we have positive x. Or, we have here negative 5 over x minus 2. So, as you can see, they are now the same. The denominators are the same. So, LCD here is equal to the LCD is equal to x minus 2. Okay? X number 6. Let's say we have 3x over x squared minus 1 and 6 over 4x minus 4. Okay, so here, as you can see, the first denominator is a difference of 2 squares, right? So, let us factor it. We have um, x squared minus 1 factors are x plus 1 and then x minus 1, right? Then, for the second denominator, we have 4x minus 4. So, that is equal to, you're going to get the common factor of this binomial. So, we have 4. Then, times the other factor, we have x minus 1. Okay. Then, for the LCD, so, you're going to get 1. Okay, as you can see, we have 1 pair here, which is x minus 1, okay? So, we have x minus 1, and then we have also, we have also x plus 1, and then 4, okay? So, LCD is 4 times x plus 1, and then times x minus 1, okay? So, that's the LCD. So, this is number 7. Let's say we have x plus 2, 2 over x squared minus 4, and 3 over x squared plus 5x plus 6. Okay, so here, what are you going to do is you have to factor the denominators. So, in the first expression, in x plus 2, there, the denominator is 1, so no need for us to factor it. Then, for the second denominator, we have x squared minus 4. So, factors are, since that this is an example of a difference of 2 squares, so factors are x plus 2 and then x minus 2. So, you're going to get the square root of the first term, that is x. Square root of 4, we have 2. Okay? Then, next, we have x squared plus 5x plus 6. So, this is a trinomial. So, factors of x squared, we have x. And then, x. Factors of 6, wherein, if you're going to add it, the sum is 5. So, let us make use of 3 and then 2. Now, if you're going to multiply 3 times x, we have 3x x times 2, we have 2x. Add it, we have 5x. Okay? So, that's it. So, these are the factors. We have x plus 3 and then x plus 2. Okay, next. 
we're going to find now the LCD. So, for the LCD, as you can see, we have here one pair of X plus 2, right? So, we have X plus 2. Then, we have a unique factor which is X minus 2. Then, another unique factor which is X plus 3. Okay, so this is now the LCD of this rational algebraic expression. Okay, next. Number 8. Let's say we have 5 over A plus 5. 4 over 2A plus 10. And then 10 over A plus 10. So, here, for the first denominator, which is a plus 5, so, we will just copy a plus 5. So, of course, factors are a plus 5 times 1, right? Then, for the second denominator, we have 2a plus 10. So, this is a binomial. You're going to get the common monomial factor, which is, as you can see, we have 2a and then 10. Common monomial factor is 2, right? Then the other factor is a plus, how are you going to get the next term? You're going to divide 10 divided by 2, so that is 5. Now, if we're going to multiply, okay, 2 times a, we have 2a. 2 times 5, we have 10. Then we have a plus 10. So that is a prime. We have a plus 10. So prime factors are a plus 10 times 1. Okay. So here to get the LCD. Okay. So we have the same. We have one pair which is a plus 5. So we have a plus 5. Then we also have 2 as a unique factor and then a plus 10, okay? So, here the LCD is 2 times a plus 5 and then a plus 10, okay? So, that's it. Next number... Okay, number 9. Number 9, we have 3x over x squared minus y squared and 5y over x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. Okay, so for the first denominator, okay, we have x squared minus y squared. Again, this is an example of a difference of two squares. So, you're going to get the square root of the first and then the last term. So, that is square root of x squared, x. Square root of y squared is y. So, x plus y and then x minus y. So, these are the factors. For the second denominator, x squared minus 2xy plus y squared, we have, okay, this is an example of a perfect square trinomial. So, let us get the factors of x squared. We have x and then x, factors of y squared. Wherein, if we're going to add it, the sum is negative to xy. Let's see, we have negative y and then here we have negative y. So, if we're going to multiply negative y times negative y, we have positive y squared, right? And then negative y times x, we have negative xy. x times negative y, we have negative xy. You add it, we have negative 2xy, which is the middle term. Okay. Then... Let us get now the LCD. 
so we have one we have one pair of x minus y and then we have unique x minus y and then one x plus y okay so what are you going to do is you're going to copy x plus y then another one x minus y this one okay then we have one pair x minus y okay so here you're going to what are you going to do is you're going to set there are two x minus y so we're going to square it so we have x minus y squared okay so this is the lcd okay next okay that's it now next number 10 number 10 let's say we have 3 over 2x plus 4 and then 10x over x squared plus 2x okay so again let us factor the first denominator 2x plus 4 so what are the factors now since that this is a binomial so you're going to get the common monomial factor which is 2 then the other factor is x plus 2 then we also have x squared plus 2x okay then we're going to get the common monomial factor which is x then the other factor is x plus 2 okay so if you're going to multiply x times x we have x squared x times 2 we have 2x okay so as you can see we have again one pair of x plus 2 so that will be one of the factors so lcd here is 2 okay we have 2 we have x so that is 2x okay we have 2x and then one pair we have x plus 2 okay so this is the lcd in factored form okay so that's it for today you know that you learned a lot today in finding the lcd of rational algebra expression now just like comment if you have questions ask me just write your comment below um, also subscribe and then click the notification button for more videos and updates you can share it also with your classmates thank you